security in the land, Ondo and Moteko deploy personnel to Wikiti Bush and arrest 31 suspects. Yes, just that is exactly what Nigerians are saying. The Central Police Force from Abuja cannot help Nigerians. State police and state security agencies are the best. So give states the power and the autonomy to arrange for their own security and all this nonsense will stop. Just like what Zamfara and Kansina and some other not, uh, northern states have put together to form a community, they call it a community uh, protection group, CPG, and it's working for them. Now they have finished the basic first level of training and people have been, over 2,640 something people have been put together now uh, to go and fight in security. I think that is the only way. Let every state have its own security architecture and all this nonsense will stop. That is it. On those state security network said it has deployed its personnel to neighboring Ikiti state to help secure release of the kidnapped pupils and arrest the kidnappers. And it said some arrests have been made in the pursuit of the abductors. Commander of the Ondo Amote Corps, Akogu Adelaye Adetunji, said Governor Loki Ayodatiwa ordered deployment of the personnel to Ikiti State. And Akogu Adelaye said discreet investigation has commenced into the suspect arrested in Ikiti State. So Adelaye, Adelaye spoke when he paraded 31 suspects arrested for various criminal activities across the 18 local government areas. So he warned hunters from other parts of the country to make their presence known to relevant authorities before going into the forest to hunt animals. So the Ondo Amoteku commander said solution to rising security across the country was for creation of state police. Exactly. So he said it has been difficult for Amoteku operatives to move into states like Edo and Kogi to arrest suspected uh, kidnappers due to lack of collaboration. He said there is decline in kidnapping activities in the state. Uh, security agencies will not relent until the last kidnapper has been sent away. Exactly. So the government, the governor directed will move to assist in the security situation in the state and we deployed 100 personnel and seen arrests have been made. Okay. We will continue until the criminals are arrested. There is sudden upsurge of visitors to the state in the name of hunting. So the state government has demanded approval must be sought before entering the forest. As a Nigerian, you can go to go anywhere in the country, but you have to follow laid down resolutions. Exactly. So because people are pretending to be hunters and then they enter into the forest with guns and then what they do, the ulterior motive is just use that as an excuse to enter the forest and start kidnapping farmers and kidnapping people. That has to stop. That exactly has to stop. So now that Ondo Amuteku has now gone into Ekiti to help Ekiti, and I hope that will stop. Because if you look at the kidnapping uh, incident, it has been very, very minimal or none right in uh, Ondo State. So all other southwestern states need to collaborate with these people in Ondo State so that they can have solution. Let them allow Eastern Security Network to run the bush across all the southeastern states. And I tell you, in 48 hours, they will fish out all the all the bad eggs in the forest and kidnapping will end. That is it. Uh, the only problem is that politicians will infiltrate them and use them for political purposes. And that is where the fear is. But with uh, Moteku, you know, supporting the Kitty State now, they have made about 31, 31 arrests so far and they are ready to do more. So if the governors can collaborate together and help to fix things, I tell you, it will be okay. All right. And uh, some people have written some comments here. Somebody said, late Governor Kredolu left a good legacy. We hope Governor Yeda Tiwa will improve on it. Of course, it's, it's upholding it. It's upholding it for him to have maintained the Amoteku and even dispatch them to help the Kitty State means that he's upholding it. May he find everlasting peace in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, good synergies. So God will bless you, sir. The governor should reorganize Amoteku in Ekiti. They are not effective. Okay. Well done. God will back you up and protect you. 
But what is a Kitiamote could do in nothing? Because the governor there is sleeping. If the governor is not sleeping, because there's nothing special about the governor in Ekiti State, both uh, Kredolu and Aida Tiwa that is there now. So every governor should sit up and take charge because they're the chief security officers of the state and do something for their people. Stop waiting for federal government. That is it. Can't you start something new? Must we be loyal for everything? Why not start something new for the good of your people? Eh? And also, I want the kidnappers of those children to be arrested and uh, dealt with. Ekiti State is not one those northern states where they pamper kidnappers, terrorists, and bandits. Okay, oh, make them catch them first. Why is it that Ekiti decided not to have a moteku? Or maybe they have. Uh, they are not well organized. I think it was only Lagos State that refused to have a moteku because of political correctness. Now, any state without a moteku is a good and veritable business hub for kidnappers and bandits. That is true. And it's not just that is why they are, they are agitating for state police. A moteku and the state government is asking for state police. And I think that is what Tinubu should approve. Let every state uh, have his own state police. May God Almighty grant the departed soul of late governor of Ondo State an eternal life rest, a true Yoruba son. Only God knows how many sons and daughters these animals in human form, the Fulani herdsmen, would have sent to their untimely grave, if not because of the efforts of this indigenous late governor, Sir Akredolu. Hmm. Arresting those criminals is not the issue, but what will happen to them at last? Tomorrow, you will see them released and recruited into the Nigerian military. <laughs> yes, into the Nigerian army, like uh, what uh, Buhari started with, which is the bad part of it. Some say, do well, sir. God will continue to back you up. We appreciate um, our former governor, Arakore Akiridolu, and governor Aida Tiwa for this laudable achievement history will not forget them and it will be kind to them <laughs> definitely the state government knows about what is happening there that is in the state but it's sleeping it doesn't know what it's doing that is it hmm? so go and enter into synergy with some other governors and let this thing uh, be resolved i think the solution to all of this is regional or state police the northerners have started their regional security network they call them community protection group cpg and they've started training okay what we're supposed to do in the south south is create our own security network southeast already have their own eastern security network southwest already have a motorcycle that is functioning all they need to do is spread it across for the southwestern states and by the time we have regional and state security network i tell you they're not born one full and enhancement to come from the north and come and kidnap something somebody in the southeast southwest or south south they're not born aware now only your own local government you go kidnap if the governor of that state allows it to happen that is it and to be competition the safest state will be where people want to go to have their living that is it so create proper uh, confederation okay and let all the federating units have their autonomy to do certain things especially around this security and around resource management and i tell you it will become competitive like the united states every state is doing something and everybody can choose to go to any state you want to stay and then abide by the laws of that state if we do that i tell you this devolution of power is uh, the only solution to the issue of nigeria so thank you for listening and let's have your comments <laughs>